Hello everybody, Jesse here from Portable Church. We've been getting a few calls recently about our coffee system and the brewing process. So we thought we would do a quick video to run everybody through how this works and what the standard practices are. So here is our standard brewer, comes in your kit. You take this out of your case. We're gonna assume that you've already taken everything out of your case and you've got everything ready to go. So we've kind of staged everything here, but you take your brewer out, get yourself ready, you get your funnel, you take out your filter, you put your filter into the funnel, you insert your funnel, it's easier from the other side. Then, once that's all set, you take your air pot. Now, let's talk about air pots real quick here. This is your vacuum pump handle. Everybody see this little knob right here? This is the release latch, so you can store it, but you don't have to do that when you're first setting it up. Pull up, it automatically sets, good to go, and then you pump away. Now, we also have this little orange cap. This is to denote when it's decaf. We don't use those. When we come to opening it up, there's actually a little thumb tab right here. So you depress your thumb tab, and now you can open this. Now, from this point, you do not need to remove your pump system, okay? So I want everybody to hear me real well. You can leave the pump system in. If you notice, there's actually a little bit of a dish to this. So as it's sitting in here and you're brewing coffee, the coffee will pour directly in and it'll hit on this dished piece right here and then drop down the hole. So an unnecessary step that we don't need to take. Now, this thing is designed to work in here. So we take our diamond shell air pot and we drop it here. Now, normally we wouldn't open that up until we've poured the coffee, but since we had it out, I showed you anyway. Now, we've got all of our stuff. We've also got our pitcher. There's actually a line right about here. You guys can't see it. I always do this when I'm on delivery on site with you. I actually mark the 75 or 72 ounce line here with the black Sharpie. But let's pretend that we've filled this up to 72 ounces. We then open up our flap here. And this is really important. On the back side of our brewer, we actually have and on off switch. Now, again, we're gonna assume that you're plugged in to a good power outlet. You've got power, everything's good to go. Once we're getting everything loaded in here, we flip it to on. Here's the, uh, one thing that catches a lot of people. There's a little red light on the front here. The little red light does not turn on. Even with the on switch on, your coffee in, everything ready to go, it does not turn on until you start pouring water in, okay? So we would come around, and I'm gonna step around over here. We come around, and here's our little light. Actually, it says heating right here, so you know that this thing is working. But again, we're pretending we got water in. We pour our water in the top. Once you start pouring, there's actually a little float system built inside here, and the float will kick on at a certain height for the water level, and then we'll turn your little light on, It'll start the pump, it'll start the heating element, it'll start everything, and then within a couple minutes, water, everything's all pumping and heating and doing what it's supposed to do and brewing wonderful coffee. Once you've poured your water in, close your lid. You step back around behind the case because that's what we're doing in the video. And then from there, you're good to go. Now, the neat thing about this, this is the fastest production brewer on the market, which is why we use it. Time is valuable. The longer it takes for something to be set up and for it to function is the longer it takes for you to set up your church. So we're saving time by using a super efficient, super fast brewer. Now, let's pretend that it's the end of the day now. We're gonna skip ahead, service is over, you guys are tearing down, you're doing everything. We'll set our AirPod aside here. We'll take out our basket full of used coffee grounds. There's it, let's go. Now, as we're getting ready to put this thing away, one big important thing I need you all to do. There's no water jacket or water reservoir inside this brewer. What that means is there's no place to store water in here. We do that on purpose because we don't want water storing inside the brewer because then when it sits inside your case in the summertime, it gets warm and it gets gross. So what we do, we find a sink or you can go outside to a potter. If you're brewing coffee outside, you just go find a grassy spot. And we take this, we open up our lid, and we literally tip it upside down and we shake it out. 
It's just that simple. And this is to get water residue, condensation, anything that's left in the system out of there. And this is also important, I guess, in the winter time too, when you think about freezing and things of that nature, just tipping it over, letting it drain, shake it for a couple of uh, seconds, uh, gives it that ability to clear it all out. Now, a couple things I want to touch on, going back to our air pots here. Let's say now we're still back into service. So I'm going to rewind a couple seconds here, but during service, right? And as you guys, as you are all prepping and getting ready, we actually have a couple things. We've got your drip trays, which come in your system. Sit right up here. Self-explanatory. I know you guys don't need uh, explanations on that, but we also have other funnels. So when you think about coffee and you think about the brewing process and everything, we realize that not everything falls into standard. So we've got one labeled other. So let's say you want to do your hazelnut. Let's say it's <clears throat> pumpkin spice season and you got to have your pumpkin spice, right? We've also got another standard regular so you guys can cycle these a little bit quicker. And then we've got your water. Now, you may not do a lot of water, you guys may not do tea, but if you do, and if you've ever done it, heating water and running it through a used or recently used coffee funnel really tastes gross when you go to make your tea. So let's not do that. So this says water, so let's, let's let it stay that way. A couple of other quick things. In your system and kit from us, you're gonna have a packet of descaler. Uh, we put this in here so that you guys have an option and so that everybody can at least have, you know, a couple of months. You don't need to clean these things super often, but if you run it and you'll know your area as well, if you're in a hard water area, you got to do it more often and you know what the process is for that too. Uh, but run that through every once in a while, get yourself cleaned out. We provide a packet. Don't call me for those. Find a good resource and get some. And then we also provide these. We love detail. That's one of the neat things about Portable Church is we're... We're always focusing on detail and what we're doing. And so what you've got here is a pack of magnets. So these are your air pot labels. So they come nice and flat because they're all fresh. And so you just get a little curve to them and you apply them right here. There's no reason why that label can't live there pretty much all the time. You take it off if you really need to for washing. Other than that, slap it right back on there. And now you don't ever have to wonder which ones are for water, which ones are for regular, which ones are for pumpkin spice and all the things go along with that. We even provided a couple of extra one of these so that you guys can write your pumpkin spice stuff on there or hazelnut or whatever it is that you all need to do. That said, if there's any questions that you ever have, we're always here for you. Give us a call, shoot us an email. We're happy to jump on the phone and talk through everything and get your questions answered. Uh, you can also uh, catch us um, on our website, portablechurch.com. Uh, our email is info at portablechurch.com. And our phone number is 800 939 7722. Thanks and God bless.